So what you actually need here is a tool a bit like this, like a pick. So you come in, get the clip like that, and then just pull it, oops, hang on, and then just pull it forward like this, and then with another tool that's flat, twist it out and pop the trim up. So you need patience to do your... Oh, yeah. You know... Um, the trim here is different. It go, it, they're like door panel pins, the sort that cross over, and they go into these holes here, right? And then we've removed this panel here, which is held on with loads of self tapper screws. Um, so you know you've got the best possible chance of getting the window to fit so my job now while this is off is to clean all the pine needles and things out of here because this 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 can act as a water trap and it'll rust out so it's rusting a bit but considering the age of the car it's not bad i'm going to grease my uh, linkages for the uh, windscreen wipers while i'm in here and also uh, probably spray it with a rust preventative wax while i'm here as well and then the screen guy's coming back tomorrow. What I'm just showing you here, the, the lower chrome trim under the screen is held in with these spring clips that just push through a hole and they cross over. Um, you see them on some old cars that hold the door cards on, or don't hold them on as the case may be. Um, so they're different to all the rest of the screen. To get the wipers off, by the way, you just there's a clip here that pushes out and then we used uh, a Y-shaped uh, blade thing from a, a ball joint separator and then leave it under that and it just push, pushes off. It's uh, got splines inside it, if you see there. So this bit doesn't just lift up with a, a nut under it, which is what you see on, on many other classic cars. It's actually a, a simpler system as long as it doesn't all seize up. The various bits of trim on the inside uh, which have to be removed. They're held in with self-tapping screws. You start with the, the top piece and there's a piece down each side here and then finally where we've got a screwdriver there's a, uh, a, a funny little bit here which I'm just taking off now. Uh, this is a chest drain clamp and yes it's medical and it's quite good for uh, fishing crud. Uh, see we have chunks bits of um, pine needles and all sorts of rubbish down in here and it's all going to come out while I've got the chance. That's the trim piece. So is that like epoxy resin or something, is it? This is the magic string. Up here. Do a loop at the top. Do a loop in the middle. You've got a special tool to put the string in, that's cool. It's on your sealant Oh, it's a sealant nozzle. Ah. Tricks of trade, eh? Now that cord looks much thicker than any I've ever seen on TV. They always seem to use like curtain cord, you know? Yeah. It's thick as 
a parachute sort of girdle, isn't it? This, yeah, it's a lot thicker. Yeah, we've got a loop there. And it takes back. It would stand now. Watch this bracket, right? Yeah. Watch it clips. Yeah. yeah. Hold the corner in with your hand. That's dodgy corner now. There you go. Made that look easy. Here's the windscreen and here's the crack that we had. You can yeah, see it. There. Thanks, it's practically invisible. It's not bad. There we are.